Spice and Wolf, Merchant Meets the Wise Wolf's episode 13 opens with Lawrence, Nora, and Hollow rejoicing in their successes and talking about other things, like sheep. Then Hollow lets out a sound that startles Lawrence and Nora. Hollow claims to be alright, but falls moments later. After then, a dream scene begins. Hollow talks incoherently about her boring life in the wheat fields in it. Despite the variety of events that took place during her days there, she claims that everything felt stagnant. But Hollow claims that during her time with Lawrence, she felt like a newborn. Despite the fact that Hollow has previously traveled with humans, she contends Lawrence enabled her to immerse herself in more energizing and spectacular situations. While Hollow acknowledges that she has had moments of grief while traveling with Lawrence, she maintains that she has been having an amazing time. When Hollow wakes up on a bed, she recalls that Lawrence carried her here when she passed out. Moments later, Hollow considers Lawrence and Nora while also thinking back on her self-doubt. When Hollow is in need, she wonders why Lawrence isn't by her bedside. When Lawrence gets there, he questions Hollow about not telling him that she wasn't feeling well. Hollow apologizes and claims that fatigue may have been the cause of her fainting. Lawrence admits to Hollow that he has experience with illnesses. He discovers Hollow has a fever when he puts his palm on her head. Following some small talk, Hollow begs Lawrence to stop bothering her. Lawrence demands that Hollow abstain from meat for a bit. Beneath the sheets, Hollow smiles as he strokes her head. When Lawrence gets back to Hollow's room, he promises to make porridge the next day. Hollow accepts his apple wine. After consuming the apple wine, Hollow informs Lawrence that it tastes strange. Lawrence admits to diluting the drink to Hollow. Hollow is disappointed that Lawrence did that. Lawrence claims to have conducted studies at a nearby facility. He gives Hollow a lecture on the four human temperaments. In the end, Lawrence discovered that it would be advantageous to give Hollow cold items like apples. He would have offered Hollow conventional apples, but he claims that those are categorized as dry meals and that Hollow would have been better off with a cool apple drink. Hollow notices a few of dishes that Lawrence mentions. The sound of it all excites Hollow, and Lawrence notes that she is now completely better. Lawrence hears Hollow say she's unwell again. She's hoping Lawrence would fulfill his promise to get her the goodies. After Lawrence leaves to bring Hollow the oatmeal, Hollow nods off once more. We move into another dream scene at the same time. Hollow considers her experiences in the wheat fields and her birthplace in it. Those were, according to her, both delightful and disgusting. Hollow brings up her divine position and the opinions of others. She contends that although she was aware of her obligations, she never applied for that job. However, Hollow claims that Lawrence is a unique example because nobody has ever grinned at her naivety. Hollow contends that Lawrence is an impudent person who is ignorant of his place in society. Lawrence comes back to see Hollow, hoping that she may be able to repay him in the event that he falls ill. When he opens the oatmeal container, Hollow asks Lawrence to give her some food. Lawrence asks Hollow what she wants him to make her as he wants to go get more stuff. Hollow tells Lawrence that she would like her sheep milk made once more. Although Lawrence isn't convinced about it, Hollow persuades him to go with it. He mentions Nora's talent for seeing things like that. Hollow becomes enraged by this. Lawrence questions Hollow about her treatment of Nora as an enemy. Lawrence doesn't get the finest reception from Hollow. Taking hold of the empty pail, Lawrence swears to fill it with oatmeal. Lawrence responds that he will return quickly when Hollow asks him to. When Nora returns with Lawrence, Hollow is not happy about it. Hollow asks Nora to share the key to leading sheep with her. Nora says a shepherd can better guide sheep if he or she has a generous heart. Hollow looks at Lawrence and cracks a joke about sheep. Lawrence is called the sheep by her, but at first he doesn't see the joke. Then they all chuckle together. Then, we try.